Hello everyone, Godless here. Today I'm gonna be showing you best possible necro setup ever. So I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I upload the videos and give the thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any question or advice. I'm reading all of them. So let's jump into the setup now. Basically what I'm running on my Necros Prime is I need a melee weapon. It can be any so it completely depends on your weapon choice here and uh, I'm, 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 I'm using a Zao because I like more than the other ones. So Plug Kripat, Plug Bokwin, Varget 2 Jai is completely crit setup but you can just replace Varget 2 Jai with the one that give you status chance so you can get more benefit from condition overload and yeah on the necros one the, mo the more important thing is here I have course projection as aura and I have two power strength mode power drift and blind rage here to reach 214 percent power strength so I can get more benefits from Shield of Shadows, actually the maximum benefit you can get is this two mode that you need. So you just cannot put the overextend since it is going to decrease your ability strength. So the cap is 90% damage reduction with the Shield of Shadows. So to reach the 90% damage reduction you need Power Drift, Blind Rage and the 7 Resurrected body and um, Here is health conversion to get more armor equilibrium to get energy from the health orbs and um, health from the energy orbs and The despoil to remove the energy cost of your desecrate and vitality because your desecrate going to use your health and you need vitality a little bit power range and maximum energy so you need prime to flop. As an arcane, I'm currently running arcane barrier but I just cannot get more benefits compared to arcane guardian. So you need arcane guardian for best possible setup. You need two rank 3 arcane guardians in here so you will never ever die while your shields, shield of shadows are active and your Arcane Guardian will work, will be activated the whole time. And also I have 5 Forma on my setup. And also you don't have to worry about this solo group and that master thing is, it's just random names at the moment. You can use this setup in solo in and in group as well. You won't feel any problems at all with that. So, and another thing, you 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 are going to use your melee weapon, and you have to use the focus, which is here. I'm going to show you Naramon and Power Spike. Melee combo counter now decays while out of combat by five every fifth second instead of depleting completely. So you don't need Drifting Contact to increase your combo duration since you are going to use only your melee weapon. You will not have any problem with your combo counter in any mean. And you will be just fine with the Naramon as well. You don't need to use Xenoric, Vazarin, Unari or Madurai. You just need the power spike just in case to not to lose your combo counter. So you will just nuke everything in your path and you will not have any problem. So let's see some action from the Necros. So here is we are going to test. And uh, it's just a Void Fisher mission and I don't have my friends to jump into the survival fisher and there is no survival fisher anyway. So, yes, our melee, as you can see, it's on the 1.5 multiplier at the moment. And I didn't put 
equipped my shield set. Also, you see the Berserker working and uh, health conversion working as intended. You can get health conversion from Smeris. And I'm going to put this Shield of Shadows now. So you see in, on the top right corner it says 90% and it is a damage reduction and which is really nice so you kinda immortal with that. Let's see a little bit fast forwarding now. With your shields, you need to be in range. It has 50 meter range. And as long as you are away from your resurrected ones, you will not get the maximum efficiency. So you have to stay close to your shadows or your shadows need to stay close to you in order to get maximum benefit from your mode. So let's just kill those enemies here. Just nuke them. Where are you? Where are you? Yep. Okay. Now we go into here. No. We go out from here. I use this. Where is the people? They in the. They just bugged. They bugged out. Yeah. Now they are dead. So we just kill the heavy gunner. We move to here. As you see, I'm out of range now. You can just cast fast while you are while your shields are active your shadows are still alive and if you if you away from them you can just cast it where you are and they will come to you instantly like that which is really awesome and it negate the cost of the time it takes and you will be able to summon them faster than usual you just die bro yep i started to take damage because my shields are away so we kill those we kill those we kill those i cannot do more combo counter with my melee because the enemies are far away from each other and i have to find them so as you can see let's see like here right now i have 42 37 32 27 22 as long as i don't hit anything it will drop but it will never ever reset so in long survival missions you can just reach thousands of thousands with your melee and you will do insane job with it okay now fast forward to the exercise also don't forget that necros prime will be prime vaulted at june 19 and 99 percent probably limbo prime will come to us or the chroma and let's see and have fun guys take care